Hello everyone, I'm Badal. Uh, I'm from Microsoft India. Uh, one of our Microsoft APJs are uh, interfacing video IPs with uh, this file software. And this file software we are using to configure the uh, video IP and uh, configure the uh, HDMI display and uh, camera interface. So, <coughs> and apart from that, uh, this we can control uh, the uh, some of the enhancement features uh, of the video IP, uh, like brightness and uh, saturation, and, all. and <coughs> for uh, development uh, we are using uh, Soft Console i uh, This is the uh, Windows based uh, ID uh, which, uh, for this file development. I think this is the uh, first Windows based soft, uh, software for this file development. I'm going to set up the demo. Please visit my setup. Thanks. Okay, uh, nice to meet you. My name is Noah Bong. I'm from National Power University. My work is, is about an open source resource debug implementation. As you probably know, the debug work, working group is working on very good spec, which many of them will tell you about tomorrow. So, uh, as a member of the working group, I hope my implementation could help people critically understand what the spec, debug specs are all about. So I choose a whole written in backlog, the V scale, and add a debug extension in that. And I use an abstract command based approach. So if you are interested about the latest debug spec, you can come to my poster and quick discuss about how to implement this uh, feature. Thank you. Everyone, uh, I am Pavel Khadarov uh, from uh, Syndacore and uh, uh, I'd like to briefly uh, describe uh, the demos uh, that we are going to show you today. Uh, as you uh, already know, Syndacore uh, develops a uh, line of course, so you have a chance to see uh, almost uh, all of the uh, in action today. Uh, the first uh, one is an uh, uh, SOC and uh, it out at uh, 28 nanometers uh, node. Um, it is SCR3 uh, based and uh, it's a microcontroller uh, class uh, 4 running uh, Zephyr of course with some uh, benchmarks on top of it. And uh, uh, the second one is uh, SCR5. Uh, this is a uh, uh, Multi-core um, uh, setup. Uh, uh, it is compatible with uh, up to four cores, but uh, currently it's instantiated on uh, two cores, and it's running uh, SMB version of Linux um, uh, with the famous uh, multi-core uh, dining philosophers uh, benchmark. Another one of them is an uh, extensibility example. Uh, we accelerate um, AES uh, uh, encryption algorithm. Uh, we achieve, we introduce uh, custom uh, instructions uh, that uh, uh, provide uh, more than 50 times uh, acceleration over uh, optimized C++ implementation. Yeah. Um, also, we have a number of uh, other applications running, uh, debugged, uh, and uh, so on. So uh, please uh, uh, come to see our demos and uh, learn more about course. Thank you. Hi, I'm Larry Lapidus uh, with Imperis. Uh, we do virtual platforms, software simulation. No, I don't want to show all this stuff. Um, there should be some risk class for it. Yeah, here we go. Um, so um, we are not the newest member of the uh, risk class Foundation, as we found out yesterday. Um, what we do have are models of uh, the RB32 uh, ING, RB64 ING. I'm going to be uh, showing demos of those. Uh, running bare metal applications. Uh, with the virtual platform tools that we have, you can extend these uh, processor models. You can also add in models of the peripherals. These are instruction accurate and run uh, quite fast. So 
typically running in the hundreds of millions of uh, instructions per second. So, uh, uh, from uh, from what we do, our users benefit from improved uh, software quality, uh, reduction in schedule and cost. Uh, the risk five models are actually just part of our uh, processor model library. Uh, we've got uh, a whole lot uh, more than that. We've been doing this for a little while. And uh, our, uh, our customers are in the uh, custom CPU, semiconductor vendor, embedded systems developer space. So if this fits any of you, if you're interested in software simulation, uh, please see me this afternoon. Thanks. Hi everyone, I'm Satish, I work for Microsemic. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate a lockstep processor implementation using VSPI soft course on a Microsemi FPGA. Lockstep processors are used to detect faults in the processor. So faults can be due to uh, unsafe uh, conditions like uh, subjecting the device to radiation. And uh, as you can see in the block diagram, lockstep processor operator have two processors. One is acting as a master, another one is acting as a slave, and they both run the same instruction cycle by cycle. That means they are running in the lockstep. And we have a comparator that compares the address and data that is coming from the both processors. And then whenever there is a deviation between the address and uh, instruction, then we detect using the comparator and we flag the error. So using the system monitor, we can basically take a necessary action like resetting the device or recovering the device from the fault. And uh, once we detect the fault, we have to go for recovery. Uh, for this, that one, we can go for uh, hardware-based context saving and rollback technique. And uh, we believe that for implementing this uh, hardware-based context saving and uh, rollback, uh, this space of course is the right choice because of the open source licensing. Uh, uh, and uh, if you can uh, use the flash-based FPGA for implementing this lockset processor, we'll have some additional benefits in terms of reliability and security so that it makes your system fall tolerant for uh, reliability and safety. Thank you. Hello, Jim Hansel from Photoshop. Uh, we are debug and performance monitoring the uh, whole SOC. Uh, so what we will show you today is a demo that we showed at on TechCon, which caused a lot of stir. <laughs> it contains a risk pipe for rocket with spike and do call arm. We run some code on both. We'll do uh, a coherent debug at the source level and we'll show performance of transactions of the integrate and we will find a deadlock and we will connect and show that happening. Uh, hi, I'm Wei Zong um, from the University of Cambridge working for a low risk. Um, so this time I'm basically I'm here to present our thoughts and needs. Uh, low risk is a non-for-profit organization actually. We provide full SLC based on the rocket chip. We try to open source everything. That means open from core to any IPs as soon as we can uh, And everything is for free as so we don't take any profit from the users. Uh, and this time, as you can see from structure, we still use the Rocket Core as our processor. And <coughs> compare with previous release, we add attack memory and meaning core. This time, the meaning core is based on the Parpino processor. It will implement a full SD interface. For the attack memory, it's actually a whole reader, whole redesign of our first release. This time, I think we can call it a little bit general purpose attack memory. Uh, I think I do have a presentation tomorrow on the 9th. Uh, half past time. I think it would be good for me to pull out demo so I can run it. You can see it. And I do pull out two simple programs that actually use attack memory to do some security path, uh, security path that uh, um, make the key script or protect the stack. Thank you. All right, I'm Megan Walks from Sci Fi, and uh, we're going to be showing a bunch of our. Freedom uh, platform evaluation stuff. So we have on the top, we're going to be having the Corplex IP that Jack talked about, um, showing you exactly what you can play with. Um, just immediately downloading from our website. Um, we're going to be demonstrating the Freedom Studio IDE. You're welcome to bang on it and blink lights and break things. And we'll have our Hi5 One board, um, which is a product you can buy for $59. And you can play with it and draw on the screen, touch screen, and stuff like that. 
And we'll also be showing our website, and you're welcome to try signing up and just poking around on the website and seeing how we sort of think you should be buying that key. That's it.